Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Dia. There's a part of me that can't believe we're already in March, but I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys a February flip through of all of the planners I used this past month and one that I intended to use and I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been so busy, but I wanted to share it with you guys just to share my idea with you and hopefully I'll get going in it pretty soon. Let's go ahead and start with my main planner, which is my Sterling Inc. B6 planner. And this is my VDS Vanderspeck undyed leather cover. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started really quick because we have, let's see, all of these planners to go through. I do have this in the full year and I'm going to go ahead and take you to the things that I use on a daily basis. The first one is at the front and it is my Miracle Morning Tracker and as you can see I had a really strong January and then February was just kind of all over the place. I've been sick a lot lately. I've been really busy and a bit stressed and it's funny I can always tell that when I'm more stressed the first thing to go is my meditation and that's probably when I need it the most which would have helped me get into a better headspace a lot quicker. So I need to get started on that again. I go ahead and keep track of my Instagram followers and my YouTube followers. It's nice to be able to look at this and know where I need to get back on track. Next is my monthly calendar. And this is where I just keep track of anything that we have going on for the business, which honestly, because a lot of our business is still in California and it's been a bit rainy all through February, We've had to reschedule and move around a lot of these things, and I will normally come back in here and update it all, but I just didn't get around to it this month. I probably will go back at some time because we did keep track of everything on our business calendar, so I'm going to go ahead and backfill this and change things around just so that it's still documented. And then we have my weekly pages and it was on February 1st that things went very wrong for me. I ended up having pneumonia and then because my immune system was down, it triggered a really bad rash on my body that took me out for days. And I don't even know when the last time I went to the doctor is because I was sick, but I was in so much pain from my rash that I ended up going into urgent care. Didn't even know I had pneumonia. I just noticed that my chest was a little heavy while I was working out and at night, but didn't think anything of it. And so they gave me medication and I was on my way to recovery. It's still been a bit of a struggle to get back into routine again, but this past week has been really good for me. So I just keep track of my weeks like I always do, keep track of my Animal Crossing in a different color. My daughter turned 21, so we celebrated that. I've been so excited for her to turn 21. I always feel so bad for her when we go out and we all have a drink and she just kind of has to sit there without one. So she finally gets to participate with us whenever we go out. On the weekends lately, I haven't been keeping track in a detailed manner of what we've been doing unless I'm working. Otherwise, I've just kind of been writing in like in journal form what we did throughout the day. And then that's it. I also like to look back because I can easily see that I was really struggling to get up at five in the morning, which is when I normally like to get up. So, you know, you can see here that it was five in the morning all the way across and then it starts to kind of go all over the place. And I was waking up later and later. And then on Wednesday, I finally just got back on track again and I'm getting back into a routine that I really enjoy. Then we have my daily pages and nothing has really changed here. I've just been jotting things down. No drawing, no stickers, no pictures because I have just been too busy lately. Actually, there were a few days where I didn't even journal completely. So I just stuck stickers in here and that's about it for my B6 common planner. I've had a few of you ask how far out I draw my days. What I normally do is on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'll come in here and draw out the entire week, which I'll need to do tomorrow. Okay. Next planner. 
Oh, by the way, this is my Pilot Kakuno and I'm using Diatramentis Brown Ink in it. The next planner that you guys have seen before is my personal planner. And this is pretty much still being used the same way. I believe I did a video on it, but I just go in here every morning, check off the day, make sure there's no holidays coming up. I will read my affirmations and kind of look at my vision board and visualize things. And then I have my weight tracker in here. I have the older months at the back, but I have them pinned in. And then I'll go ahead and skip over to my other fitness trackers. This one is steps. Then I have whether I had alcohol or not. The type of workout I do, as you can see, I've just been doing cardio, but I do want to incorporate other things into my workout. And this is new and I love this. I'm going to put his name up on the screen. I got this idea from someone on Instagram and this is now how I'm keeping track of whether I close my rings or not. I've had these markers for a while. I bought them a while back and I really never ended up using them because I don't know, I have a hard time making consistent dots with these. I know it's just me. Sometimes I press too hard. Sometimes I press light and the variation in dot size drives me nuts, but I'm really enjoying it for this. I'm using this pinkish color for my move goal, green for my exercise goal, and blue for my stand goal. I also have a period tracker in here. And then in the next section, I kind of have household stuff. And this is where I just keep track of things like our dishwasher being serviced when I went to the doctor, dogs groomed whenever I dye or cut my hair. These won't be kept in any sort of archive folder after. I plan on throwing these away. I also have a little to-do list of things that I want to get done for personal things. And we just got our Arizona driver's license. I've been procrastinating on that for way too long now. Our taxes. And yeah, those are just a few things. And the next section is my project section. And this is for our photography business. I highlight projects once they're done. Otherwise, I have them in here like this. And then I check off where we are in the process. And if we are waiting on something or in the middle of something, I'll go ahead and put like a little dot. These two were postponed. And the next section is my reference section, which I showed you before I had some Animal Crossing stuff in here. But if any of you guys are familiar with my channel, I was doing some marathon training vlogs. And I ended up moving, so I ended up not signing up for the marathon, but I'm kind of getting back into my running mode again. And I was looking for marathons out here in Arizona and wasn't having much luck. There aren't as many as there are in California, but I think I decided that I want to run an ultra marathon. I've always wanted to run an ultra marathon, and I just printed out this plan to just finish a 50 mile ultra. So this is something I'm looking into now. And let me know if you guys want to see any running videos on how I'm going to prepare for it or what race I decide to sign up for. And then in the back section, I just have this note paper that I'll jot things down on to give to my husband or transfer them to one of my other planners. This is from Coffee Monsters Co. It was one of her freebies. Love it. Next is this A6 planner. This cover is from Hand Stitch Leather Tea. I've had it for a long time. This is a notebook from Sterling Inc. It's one of the 500 and something page notebooks. I bought it a while ago and I was undecided what I wanted to use it for. I just kind of was using it as a food journal at one point, but then I decided that I needed a place to go ahead and keep my weekly tasks when I do a brain dump with my husband at the beginning of the week. So I'm giving this a try and it's working out so far. It's kind of nice because I want to keep track of my brain dumps. I don't want to use them in my personal planner because I'll end up throwing them away once the week is over. This way I can always refer back 
to see if something ended up being canceled out or if we forgot to get it done. The only thing I'm struggling with is trying to figure out how I want to mark off my tasks. I know that sounds really trivial, but it matters to me. So I was using this little Hobonichi ruler and putting in squares and I don't, it's just kind of a pain. It's too close right here and I just can't be bothered making these squares. So this week I just went ahead and went back to my normal, checking it off or drawing an arrow if it doesn't get done. I'm enjoying this so far. It's only my second week using it, but it's been really helpful. Brand new to my planner lineup in February has been this Into Sterling Inks Common Planner. This is the week's size. Off and on, I've kept track of my health and fitness in a Hobonichi Weeks Planner. I've tried, uh, what are they called? Planner Fox? Fox Planner? I can't remember. I've tried theirs. I've tried several different methods of keeping track of my health and fitness and what I'm eating, and nothing has really stuck. I think the Hobonichi Weeks was the closest I came to finding something that I like, but I felt like I didn't have enough space to write into the squares. So I saw that she has this vertical weekly, and I'm giving it a try. I'll do a more thorough flip through of this once I really set it up, but I just kind of started using it. I haven't done anything with the monthly pages yet or any of the beginning pages because I'm not sure what I want to do with them. I'm sure in these quarterly pages, I'm going to probably keep track of my monthly goals, maybe how many miles I run in a week, what my weight is, how many times we eat out, just stuff like that. Not sure how I'm going to use this yet, but I did jump into using it as my food tracker and keeping track of when I'm eating, when I'm going to the gym, and when I'm waking up. So this is how I'm using the weekly layout. I really like it so far because I put when I wake up, when I have my coffee, when I have my meals, I can see if I'm eating too late. There are times where I like to do intermittent fasting. So when I plan those days, I can go ahead and block them out in here to make sure I'm not eating too late or eating too soon. And then over in the back pages, I liked that I can have an entire page per day. Whereas with the Hobonichi Weeks, I had to do everything on one page basically. So this is how I've decided to use this so far. I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And if you have seen any of my Hobonichi Weeks videos, you know that on this left side over here, I had for each day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and then workout. So it was only this little strip of information for everything that I ate and did that day. So I couldn't get as detailed as I wanted to in what I was eating. This way I have plenty of space and I'm not always going to do it, but I am trying to lose some weight right now because I packed on a few pounds since moving to Arizona, but I'm trying to get back to a healthier weight and get back into running again. So right now I'm keeping track of how many calories are per meal. I do this in the app lose it. And then I go ahead and just write it in here. I'm not always going to do that. I only do that when I'm just getting started in creating a deficit again. Other than that, I eat pretty intuitively and know when I'm overdoing it or underdoing it. Down here at the bottom, I have my workouts and then I just put how many calories I burned. And then this is also my notes section. And for this, I'm using this Zebra Sarasa clip pen. It's one of the vintage ones. And I don't know what color this is. It's like a vintage red. But I'm using it to write any notes in. Like for dessert one night, I had two cups of Honey Nut Cheerios because I was really hungry. But it ended up being too much. So I just made myself a note that that was too much food for me. A Hello Fresh. My daughter and I usually split a serving. So I'll write in when I have a half a serving. Just any thoughts that I had on something I ate. Like this night, I had some French bread and butter for a snack in the evening. And I would have rather had my cereal because I would have felt better after that. And then I have just notes in here. Like I woke up late, so I didn't go to the gym because I didn't want to fight the crowd. And it's just been really nice to have all this extra space. And with her planners, I could do a day per page. I'm not sure if I'm going to track 
this detailed on the weekends or not. I, I think I want to, but I might not be so restrictive on my calories. And because of that, I've only been drawing in two days at a time because I'm trying to see if this is how I want to use this or not. I like it so far, but We'll see. I think one of the things that I don't like is that I have the date at the bottom here. The reason I have it at the bottom here is because I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and zoom in. But there's these dots here, here, and here. And it just made it really easy to draw the lines on the page. And then my extra space is kind of down here at the bottom. But I have a hard time writing at the bottom right here. So I might just start using a date stamp or something and stamp those in, but we'll see. So that's how I'm using this so far. This is my food and health and fitness planner and I love it. I'm still looking for a cover for it. I think I'm gonna lean more towards the Moterm Weeks planner. The color that I want right now is a uh, veg tan honey, I think, and it sold out. So I have it set to remind me when it comes. But I don't know, I was really trying to use something that I already have because I'm really focused right now on paying off some of our debt. So I just don't want to buy anything new right now. But I do want a way to keep my pen with this which actually it's this pen. It's another Kakuno and extra fine. And in this one, I'm using the Diatramantis ink in brown. The other one was sepia brown. And this one is brown. And it's just a little bit lighter than the other one. Okay, final planner. This is the final planner that I intended to use in February. And this is my memory keeping planner, the one that I use to keep ephemera and pictures in. And I have a drawer over here full of ephemera from January. And I can't believe it's already the end of February because I have all that now too. But I just have this in here and I have done absolutely nothing. These are older things that I put in here. I wanted to use these to mark the months, but I haven't done it yet. And I have all the pictures. I went through all of our phones and I went ahead and printed up all of our pictures at Walmart. I do have printers. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I love my Canon selfie printer, but I like to kind of do those as like a couple at a time. This was a whole month's worth of pictures. So I feel like it's just a whole lot cheaper to go to Walmart or somewhere and print them up. And what I do is I open up a four by six in Canva and then I just drop in several different photos. That way I can cut it up after and then go ahead and just put all the pictures in here and journal about what we were doing at the time. I believe these are like 14 cents per image. And if you own one of the smaller home printers, you know it's a lot more expensive. So this is what I decided to do at the end of every month. I gather all of the pictures from our phones and print them up, and then I'm gonna have a journaling session. I just haven't had time for it yet, but that's my intention. And I also noticed that a lot of our pictures just sit on our phones. So another thing that I'm doing is I bought this little, it's not a disposable camera. It's a little point and shoot film camera. And I have my nicer film cameras, but they're heavy, they're manual focus, and they take a little bit of time. I have to be more intentional with those cameras. And this I can just throw in my purse and I was watching a vlog from someone else that I love and he keeps one of these with him and he says he just takes it everywhere with him. They snap a few pictures and then whenever it's done, they print them and it's really nice to go through and relive all of the memories, which is something we don't tend to do with the pictures on our phones. So I want to get a nicer camera, but I figured let's see if we even do this before we invest in a nicer point and shoot film camera. So that's what this is. And that's my intention. I probably won't put these pictures in here. These are just going to go into a photo album. If I ever get it started, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. And that's it. Those are the planners that I used in February. And I... Hopefully we'll be sticking with it through March and I'll update you guys at the end of the month. 
I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll try to leave links for everything. Just remind me if I forgot to put something. If you enjoyed this video, it really helps me if you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.